Coming. I was dressing up. Uh oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was smart. Yeah, so. Sorry, Daddy. Food is ready. Okay, I'll join you guys later. In fact, mm. so. Beautiful daughter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> You're so excited, Dad. What's up? It seems you've been favored in the office today. Well, your father, Chief Douglas, has been favored by the true gods. Oh, whoa. oh yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, I'll join you guys soon. Well, since we're all excited, Daddy, look at my earring. Ooh. Do you like that? I got it today. Stop. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. And I like your top. Beautiful night, new night wear. Thank you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'll tell the others you're coming. and get the hell out of my cotton right now! Get out! Please, please calm down. <laughs> Uche! Uche! What is it? What's the matter with you? Huh? What kind of a person are you, Uche? For crying out loud, you've known me for so many years! Oh, yes! Yes! That's true! I have known you! But not as a woman nice. What? Yes! Told me, but I didn't believe. So that's the prostitute. What am I even saying? One of the prostitutes. I beg your pardon. Look, Uche, that girl you saw in there, I met her before you. Okay? Wait a minute. You don't want me to have any female friend around, huh? What's the matter with you, anyways? You know what? You were about leaving. Fine. You can live for all I care. To hell with you! Really? I left your ass five minutes ago. I dumped you, motherfucker! Dummy, I'll take care of you. I'll clap you! Nonsense! My name is Uche! Chief Doctor's daughter! Fine! You can go! Uche, this is just a movie. Uche, why the tears now? Eh? This is just a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's just a movie, but I'm in a weekend. Can't you see? <laughs> What's Uche saying? Did you actually watch this film? Mm, men are wicked. Simple. Oh, women are heartless. Huh. Men are wicked, women are heartless. What's this all about? <laughs> huh? It's just this movie that is causing the argument. What movie is that? Mm, is it not this movie called uh, Close to Death? <laughs> Produced by Jenny White. Oh, that movie? Yeah. Well, the human mind is evil. And that's why I keep advising you children. Make sure you marry your friend. Not some total stranger. Daddy, Daddy, men are wicked. This thing called marriage, I don't think it's real anymore. It's not. Good for men. Women are heartless. Ah, is that's okay. Anyway, who is joining me for that bit? All right. Hi. Okay? Hi. So I'll take you through with me. At least yeah, I will stop fine. all this argument of yes, men are wicked. And the women are happiest. Let's go. <laughs> All right, um, freshen up on this. All right. Okay, Brad, this is just a movie. Lady, <laughs> you left me here.
Why is your face like this? See, I've told you before. You just have to calm down. It's not the end of the war. Eh? I'd advise you listen to him, though. Let's just listen to what he has to say. We are friends. My daughter, one thing you need to understand is that, see, when I was going out with your mother, uh, we were friends. Yes, I made some mistakes, but... Daddy, daddy, please. There's no better excuse for what we did. No. I don't want him anymore. I don't. I'm looking for investment avenue number 12. Where exactly are you going to? Uh, DM, DMG Nigeria Limited. Any problem? No, 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 no not at all. Okay. We just walk down that street. The next building. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, yes, Excuse me if there is any the problem, any, any problem. I see if you guys problem, I will tell you. Huh? But be fine, sir. Be upset. Ha. I love that thing she's wearing, cream. Cream and cream. 
Okay. Uh, bring him in. Come in. Good day, sir. Yes, good day, how are you? Very well, sir. How am I here? No, sir, my name is Bernard uh, Maxwell Amici, son of Barrister Maxwell Amici. Barrister Amici? Okay, that's it. Okay, you can go. Thank you, sir. Man, you look every inch of it. <laughs> can you imagine? Your nose, especially. I couldn't have mistaken you for any other person. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, first of all, let me start by saying my condolences because uh, I didn't see you then. Uh, sorry about that again. Thank but you, uh, I'm telling you, you know, your father and I have been very close friends right from school. We we're classmates even in ABU, Zaria. Yes, yeah. 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 you was such a. Oh, yeah. Jenny? Yeah? I thought you were somewhere around the office. Oh no, Daddy sent me. Um, where are you going to? Daddy also sent me. I mean, too many errands today. Too many errands. Yeah. And Daddy, Daddy is so excited. I don't know why. You don't know why? Yeah. If Daddy is excited, there is only one reason for that. <laughs> Money! <Mane. laughs> I'll see you later. All right. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Well, um, excuse my manners, everyone. I need to do an official introduction. I've seen Ben. Ben here is um, the son of my late bosom friend. His father, Jennifer's father, and I um, grew up together, formed the Good Empire together, we were walking all the stairs mm -hmm. together before they passed on. Um, ben is going to be living here with us, he's going to be working with us at the office. So we want to put experience together to create a stronger company. Okay? Uh, ben, you're welcome. Thank you, Tom. Uh, and uh, this is my daughter, Gigi. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, Jennifer. Welcome. And, of nice course, to meet you. Yes, <laughs> So feel at home, okay? Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jennifer. <laughs> Lovely meal. Mm -hmm. Who made this? Yeah, Ben, feel at home. Oh, you guys are already making me feel at home. I mean, everything. I'm feeling at home already. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, you can go and freshen up. Okay. You know, I usually hang out every evening after work. Hope you don't have a problem with that. No, no, no. I, I don't have a problem. Uh, just that while growing up, my my father used to tell me that um, Chief Douglas is a staunch Christian. <laughs> and I should be mindful of um, the kind of things I do whenever I'm around him. Yes, so that's yes, just yes. that. Apart from that, no, I'm okay. Yes, I'm, yes, yes. I'm serious. <laughs> you know, what I really need now after this long journey is just a chilled bottle of Udo. Uh, uh, a chilled beer. That's what I just need. I don't have a problem, man. Eh? So freshen up, I'll be waiting. I won't just give me like <laughs> five seconds. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Okay. Um, please make it fast. I don't like to stay out late. Ben, you can take as much as you can. That's for me. You know, I don't, I don't take more than one. I have even crossed my gauge just to welcome you, but it's okay. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. 
you know too much of everything is bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <coughs> okay, so tell me, do you smoke? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I don't smoke. I haven't tried it before. But I'm not against it. I'm not. Mm, I, I, I used to, but my, uh, my woman don't like it, so I had to stop. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you have to you have to go against your wish to, to please them. Yeah. <laughs> it seems you're, you're into women. Uh, <laughs> you're the women type. <laughs> well, um, my guy, I like women. But one at a time. My woman, for me, it's a no-no. Ah, I'm not into women at all. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't mind one more photo for you. <laughs> so we can leave. Bama! You did not bring up this child in a Christian way. Even a concluding prayer, you cannot say. It's okay. Uche, Daddy? lead us in the concluding prayer. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, King of Kings, we thank you. We have come as a family. We table our praise, our worship, our thanksgiving, our request. Thank you, Lord. Father, the night has come for you. Jenny, what is this thing you always do? I have told you. That is my way of praying. My father taught me that. Are you sure you were praying? Yes. When I pray that way, I speak to God heart to heart. And I wait and listen to Him speak to me. When I pray in the church, it is nice to me. So, are you scared of me? Jenny, I'm really scared. I am. When next is my time of prayer, when the moon fully appears, I will go to the sitting room. I don't think I'm right. Better. Better. But well, I hope Daddy will not find you doing that. No problem. He won't.
It's almost time. I Even don't know. My watch. Yeah. I wonder what they are waiting for. They have to come. Let's go. Ah. Hi, ladies. Hi. Oh, you're yeah. set. Yeah. Are we set? Yes, uh, Where's Ben? Uh -huh. He's not out yet. Uh -oh. So, uh, what are you doing with the Bible? Uh, maybe he, <laughs> he wants to learn how to pray. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, you guys don't know that I am a prayer warrior. Oh. If I begin to bind that cast, oh Jesus, my Lord. If I begin to bind that cast here. Uh, uh, please, it's enough. Eh? Let's, go uh, oh. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Bad. I'm sorry, I didn't wake up early to prepare lunch before we left for work. Oh, ben, have you had something to eat? Uh, yes, I had mm -hmm. snacks. I had to take some snacks. The shop opposite the office. Oh. I just stopped by to take some snacks. Snacks? Yeah. That's not enough. Don't worry, I'll run into the kitchen and prepare something, okay? Oh. <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey, Uchi. Why didn't you ask me if I have eaten? Oh. Is Ben the only one here? <laughs> I wonder. Imagine this too. Huh? Are, you, are you too jealous? Please, who should I ask about food if not Ben? He's the only visitor here. Yeah? Mm. There's some <sighs> extra care for a visitor. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just come off it. Then, like I said, I'll hurry into the kitchen and prepare noodles, okay? That should hold you on a bit before dinner is set. I'll be mm -hmm. right back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. See, guys, she was calm down. She's only being caring. That's the reason why I should be eating good. Why are you guys concerned about she's just preparing food for just? Well, you, 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 I'm a feast of man. Ready? Snacks. Uh, anyway. Mm. Mm. Let me join her in the kitchen. All right, thank you very much. Uh, you don't know if it's a caram what a caram water is this snacks. Yeah, man. Mm. Why not just take a call? Thanks for the drinks. What is this? What is this? What is this? Yes, I'm asking you, why are you embarrassing me like this? I don't like it. Haven't I told you before? Okay, if you do not understand, probably I will speak evil to you, yeah? Okay, listen and listen good. A charism. Yes, I don't want. Listen, I have found someone else. And I do not want you to ruin my relationship. Okay? No, 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 no. I don't want you anymore. Get out of my life. As a matter of fact, I am going to block you right now. Ah! Ah! What is this? 
Some men are so impossible. Oh! So, who is that? He's an old friend. I mean, he used to be an old date. But he keeps pestering my life. I don't get it. So can we just continue with the game? I'm not interested anymore. I'm sorry, excuse me. You wanna play? Okay. <laughs> So, do you know how to play? Of course. Alright. Can I ask you something? something I wanted to ask you at the office but I thought it would be better when we get home. Okay, what is it? Uh, what is the meaning of BAFO? B-A-F-O? Oh, that's um, an administrative acronym. Where did you say it? Mm. Everything you put your hand on. Um, it, it means best and final offer. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. I I saw it. Um, I saw it somewhere in the office. So I just uh, I just wanted to know. Okay. <laughs> you know, okay, not that it. I'm not used to <laughs> <laughs> some of this. Um... <laughs> Is that all? Mm, yes, I think um, I'll be asking some. Put your hand on the lock. I don't know why she doesn't take calls. Always rejecting someone's call. Huh? This is what is wrong with her. I, I, I know she's been engaged by someone. Perhaps a man. It, it must be a man. Well, no problem. I'll just take my time. I'll get to know her very soon. Very, very soon. Then you come as you should pass the call. I should put you on, 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 on busy. What she's feeling like. You see that she's come inside. Hello? Oh, the gate is open. Okay. 
Mary, let's go inside okay. now, eh? You can't come to my house and stay outside. Please. I want to stand outside today. Why are you always behaving like a child? Let's go inside and see how we can help each other. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I come to your house, we don't discuss anything. You just take me straight to your bed. After, you just give me money for cream, food. Uh, that's because I am a gentleman. Some other guy would have given you transport fare and... But I give you everything. Come now, let's go inside. Okay. Izu. Mm. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Will you mind me? Ah, Mary. Can we not talk about this now? Let's leave it for later now, eh? Please if we don't talk about marriage now, when will we talk about it? At the time you're telling me, what should I not give keep for my future husband after? Oh, I know you have to keep some for your future husband, but for now, keep me small now. Eh? Come now, fine girl. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't miss you now. Eh? Are you sure? Let's go inside. Why are you smiling? Honestly, I don't like the look on your face. Izu, please, leave me alone. Why do you always act like a child each time you come around me? Eh? Did I eat you up now? Did, it, did, did I take anything from you? Why are you making me beg you every now and then? You can say whatever you want to say. You've had your way now, right? Do you still need anything else from me? No. Can I go? What's that supposed to be? Please. Can you see me off? That letter from the ministry. Yes, yeah, it is. I just responded to it. Oh, okay. Just, I was looking for you. I was coming everywhere. Okay, <laughs> Dad. I, I'll be in my office. Um, is it, um, I'd like to talk to you about something. Yeah. This is nothing, so I'll fast about it and then okay. wait for someone else comes. See, it's about marriage. I just wonder if you're thinking too much. You know, you're already a job and then you're financially stable. It should be something you should be thinking about. Well, you're, you're right, sir. I haven't found any of my guests. You don't have to go too far. Look, far, look closely, look within. I mean, look directly in front of you because the wife you're looking for may just be directly in front of you. Your ability to see it without glasses matters a lot. You don't need, you don't need a suit here to tell you. Come on, look closely. All right, I am ready. Let me return to the office. Talk. Next one is Carlos. Ben and I are going to check one or two things. So you wait for that, okay? I thought not. Meaning, Ben, please, I know my brother. Stop following him. 
is who don't spoil him. Do not spoil him. Don't spoil him. Him? No! Don't mind him. Very soon, we will hear their stories. Uh -huh. Let's go. I said it so. Do not spoil him. <laughs> I did see you at the office today. What happened? Oh, yes, that is because I went to the new site. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> anyway, you're looking good. You're doing well for yourself. Thank you very much. It just shows that you enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoy my stay, sir. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Um, listen, there's something I've always wanted to talk to you about. Come on, There's something I've always wanted to talk to you about. Okay, sir. Um, you're a young man. I mean, you're doing well for yourself. Everybody can see it. <laughs> In fact, you are stable enough for marriage. Thank you very much, sir. One thing I always tell my children is um, early marriage. Because late marriages are very risky. Uh, when you marry on time, you have a lot of time to solve problems that, you know, will come your way. And uh, like you know, your father and I are very good friends. Mm -hmm. Not blood relations. Mm -hmm. You know, people usually think we're blood, blood relations. So we're not. <laughs> you know, so early marriage is good. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir. All right. Uh, well, I'm just trying to remind you. Nothing. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just. I just oh. this for you. Well, I'm trying to dress up like you. <laughs> yes, sir. Your clothes is fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. All right. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Siboti. Yes, sir. We should wash that. Like you know, your father and I are very good friends, not blood traditions. Just come in. What was he doing in the room all alone? Well, I'm just resting and meditating as well. What kind of rest or meditation? Please come to the living room. See, there's this beautiful movie we're showing right now. It's about family and relationship, and I know you will like it. It's okay. I would love to see it. Okay, let's but, go. But not now, please. I'll join you. Yes, sir. Promise. You won't stay too long. You will miss. I will fast, and I will not tell you. Seriously. <laughs> You are a young woman, industrious, well respected, well brought up. Uh, one thing you should understand that you must forget the past and build the future. The future is more important than the past. 
should be thinking of getting married now. And like I always say, make sure you marry your friend, not a stranger. Thank you, Daddy. I one, you. one more thing, just to remind you, Ben is my friend's son. He's not your blood brother. All right then. Thank you. Um, Uche. Daddy. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Good night. <laughs> Once Uche marries Ben, it clears the way for Izu and Jennifer. Beautiful on his dress. <laughs> it would be nice taking you out for dinner, you know. Oh, thank you. That's why I wore it. <laughs> so, I want you to take me out. Well, well, that is quite challenging. I know. So, please take me out. Uche, can we just do that tomorrow? Why? Is it about the bills? Don't worry, I'll foot the bills. So let me take it out. No, it's not about the bills. Let's just do it tomorrow. Please? You promise? I cross my heart. So I just wasted my makeup, my dressing. No, you didn't. It took waste. a lot no, of time to look that. like this. Okay. You can still look better tomorrow. <laughs> we agreed on yesterday. Mm -hmm. Ben! Ben! Oh, did, did you say something? Who are you chatting with? Oh, wait. You didn't even know when I entered your room. Well, you're talking to me. Are you serious? I'm so going to know who you're chatting with that is more important than me. Did you say something? Why are you talking to me? So what you see. Ben! Not serious. Jennifer, where is Uche? You should know where she is. Oh, <laughs> 
What is it? Every day, I become scared of you. Why? Jenny, I had a terrible nightmare yesterday. And what is it about? lady was chasing me in my dream. Okay. Then she caught up with me. She was almost strangling me to death. Then I screamed the blood of Jesus and I woke up. Anyway, thank God you were not strangled to death. So, why are you scared of me? Jenny, I woke up and you were not in bed. Only for me to find you in the living room doing your thingy. I, I mean, now you're all dressed up and ready for work without my notice. Uche, dear. Don't forget you are the one who asked me to always say my prayers in the sitting room. And that's exactly what I did. <sighs> Jenny, are you, are you sure you're not into voodoo or soul travel i mean oh girl i know what you are thinking what i'm doing is not voodoo or evil practice in any form or has nothing to do with your nightmare yes okay so what is it jenny tell me what is it because i i i think you're into you know this witchy witchy you you witch uche class. uche Uche, I am not a witch. My father taught me this form of prayer and it works for me. Yes, my late father worshipped the moon. And he taught me to do the same. <sighs> my lunar calendar tells me when there will be a global lunar eclipse. When the moon is full from sunrise to sunset. When the moon and the sun are on the opposite sides of the earth. When our own side is experiencing brightness and the other side is in darkness. I lay my petitions and worries in meditation to God and he answers me. Uche, I need a husband. 
Or do you want to remain like this? No. Forbid. Yeah. Your father and my father, we are close friends. Your father knows about this form of prayers. I don't really go to my dad's room these days. But it's like I have seen him a number of times doing the same thing. Hmm. Jenny. Oh, please, take it easy. Okay, girl? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. All right? It's okay. It's okay. You can pray like you do. <laughs> okay? Where is Ben and Izu? They are already inside the car. Oh, really? Okay, then we have to go. We have to keep them waiting. All right? Oh, come on, girl. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> No. Okay. Easy. Ah. Mm. Scratch it, scratch it. Scratch it. Like this? Let's okay. see. Okay. Come on. Oh. Yes. House, in the bedroom, everywhere, even in the office. Uh, she has a lot of files on her table, and more are coming. You can tell I'm not holding would you? I'm not two hands. I'm not holding anyone. Am I? He's holding me. He's not allowing me to work. Mm. See? Ben, did you hear that? I just get up talk. Would you go to your office? Hmm? Go to your you office. heard him go to your office. What? Your office. Go to your office now. This is my father's office also. <laughs> go to your office. Why are you still locking the door? She's gone already now, you're still locking the door. What is it now? What is it? Nothing. 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 What? Nothing. Uh, she was only trying to bust the pimple. Bust. Hmm. That was what she told me. In fact, she told me deeper things that I can't explain. No doubt it's serious. You know, I used to see my father in the same mood. Yeah. And then when she linked it to her late father, I wasn't surprised. Ah. <clears throat> I won't lie to you, Uche. Even my dad. Yes, I know what I'm saying.
Jennifer. everything I have to do today. That's good. Okay. Um, ben, there is something I would like to understand. Okay. Do you have anything with Uche? Anything that is like what? A love relationship. Jennifer, we are all friends and we are family as well. I know, yeah. Oh. Here you are. Let's go, hon. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, then let's go. There. Come in. Oh, there you go. What is that? Sir, there is something I would like to discuss with you. to start up a good business. For how long have you been thinking about this? Since the beginning of this year. Why do you ask? I just want to be sure that uh, nobody is deceiving you just to... Uh... Anyway, um, are you aware that your father left some instructions behind before he passed? I'm very much aware, sir. You're not married. I'm only asking for some money to start a good business. I'm not asking for everything. Well, it's okay. I can at least give you everything if you want. If that will help you out. No. Uh, do a business. It's all right. Uh, you are the financial secretary in the company. Just arrange something for yourself. Bring it to me. I will sign it. All right, sir. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Good night. All right. Ben, what is it? I mean, you've been too busy with your phone these days that you hardly have time for anyone. Okay, tell me, what are you doing with your phone right now? Hmm? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm not chatting with any woman. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, this, uh, there's this job I'm applying for online and the headquarters is in South Africa. <gasps> That's why it's taking my time. Ben, seriously, you need to be careful. I mean, there are so many scammers online these days. Yes. Moreover, we pay you so well as a company. But if you feel your salary is too small, you can still renegotiate an increment. 
Huh? I am not complaining, okay? You guys are paying me fine. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. Hmm? And for the scammers, I know what I'm doing. And I am very, very careful. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Me a lot. Oh. Oh. Don't talk again. Okay. All right. <laughs> you care for something? No, no, no. Juice? No. Red wine? No. Oh, let me allow you with your phone. <laughs> Don't worry, I will make the money available for you. Trust me. Okay? No, no, no. Let's make it five days. Five days. Are you okay with that? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, bye. thing you're watching okay i just got employed by an international company yes i am to resume at the original office in abuja next month oh everything God. paid for okay. my flight my accommodation everything feeding everything no. free transportation no way. free everything no way. you to be very careful mm. yeah this your online employment team looks so good to be real for me i think it's calm mm -hmm. she's jealous <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everything, everything. Oh my i'm telling you that i'm so i'm so excited i'm happy for you i'm happy for you i'm happy for you i'm happy for you you would understand, understand. Oh my god! Yes, I am. I did What is it? You should have just sent me a WhatsApp message and you knew I was going to reply you. Ben, I needed to look you in the eye while I tell you this. <laughs> What? I couldn't wait till tomorrow because it's, it's bothering me. What is it? What Jennifer said is true. I mean, this South Africa job thingy might be a scam. Scam? Yes. But you already have all my documents. I mean, employment letter, hotel accommodation, flight, and every other thing. I did not spend the time, not a couple. <laughs> So how is it a scam? Ben, you're not listening. Okay, I, I need to tell you the truth. Okay. I don't want you to leave me. It's okay. I'm not going to leave you. I mean, I'm only going to work. We can always reconnect. Okay? I'm not leaving you. Come right in. Chin, beautiful daughter. The smiles have disappeared. What is the problem? Daddy, it's Ben. What did you do? I don't want him to travel to South Africa. 
At least not yet. You're not happy for him? Daddy, of course I am happy for him, believe me. But lately, I don't know what's happening to me. I always want to be around him. I mean, he made me get used to him and now he wants to leave. <laughs> Listen, my daughter, he is not leaving. He's just going to look for greener pastures. I mean, to seek for a better job. Daddy, he's not coming back. Men are the same. They do this all the time, Dad. Daddy, and you know, out of sight is out of mind. <laughs> this daughter of Douglas is in love. I can literally see it. <laughs> Feel it, I sense it. But be careful, my daughter. Else. But don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay? You promise? Sure. I'll handle it. Okay, Daddy. Oh, well, is that why you got the drink? <laughs> Daddy, I lost my appetite all of a sudden. You should get yourself something to eat. <laughs> it's late already, Daddy. I'll just go to bed. I'll sleep it off. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night. Thanks for the console. <laughs> nice. <sighs> then, go to South Africa, make some money, come back, marry my daughter, and the money remains in Douglas family. <laughs> <laughs> Falling for you, I'm falling for you. All right. Office matters? You know what I want us to talk about. If it's about that, forget it. I am Uche, Chief Douglas' daughter. I don't know what got into me. You're not my brother. And we're not even in a relationship. <laughs> I just got close to you. You know, it's normal. So, I wish you the best. And one more thing. After the close of work, there will be a new celebration. Hmm? Don't be scared. The bill is on me. Okay? Excuse me. Don't worry. I, I will leave this day. Excuse me. He's in the car already. Good. <laughs> Where's that? Dad? Dad? You have the car keys? Can you? I am stressed out myself. 
We need to take a week off, I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> but first of all, I must commend you guys for all your efforts. We have worked tirelessly this week. <laughs> it's been interesting. It's been tough. I must commend you people, honestly, because um, without your efforts, that government policy would have dealt with us mercilessly. Yeah. <laughs> so I suggest we really take a week off. So, Uche, do a memo in the office and uh, circulate it. Okay. Everyone will take a week off. <gasps> <laughs> Do it, send it around in the office. <laughs> da, 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 da. Thank you. I'll sign up on it. Wow, oh, oh, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. All right then. Oh. 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 Um, Ben. Yes. Let me still warn you for the last time. Just in case you go there and misbehave. When you settle down. Don't forget me. I'm telling you the fact. Forget about women. Women get get time for them. Oh my. Well, I must confess, I admire your courage. Um, no man would have accepted to leave this town. Not now. Uh, that we want to build an empire. He doesn't even want to leave the company for another person. And, you know, he has worked hard to achieve this. So what do you expect? What else do you expect from him? He has achieved what he really wants in life. Uh, you know, uh, uh, young man Douglas, young boy Douglas. You know, that's how my dad <laughs> calls it. Uh, young man indeed. <laughs> well, very, very soon I am going to take a break. I'll take a break, travel around the world, get some new ideas, learn new things, and come back, invest them into making the company bigger. Oh, that is a spirit. Show us okay. That is a spirit. We're all set at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Ready? Where are you going for your holiday? Oh, uh, Lagos. Then maybe from there to Abuja. Oh, travel. Abuja, is that? PH. Oh. Oh. Port Garden City. Yeah. Just <laughs> PH you're going to, I have. Luggage is like someone packing to our house. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> anyway, um, let's leave. Wow. Else? Oh, <laughs> okay, safe trip. Yeah, I won't miss you. Of course, I would miss I you. I will not miss you. I will brother. miss you. Thank you. Right. But don't leave the house. Safe journey. Safe journey. Safe journey. Safe journey. Yeah. Oh. Now I have the whole house all to myself. Who won't let me have peace and enjoy myself? Yeah. Who should I call now? Tina, J uh, Tina Mary? Mary, Tina, Tina Mary. Let me call Mary. I've had enough of Tina. Please. Tina, hold on. Your contact person will be with you soon. Everything you need have been paid for. Just feel at home, sir. It's okay. Thank you very much. Um, all I need right now is to take my bath and then um, I'll need a chill bottle of beer. 
Okay. And also, I'll be needing um, an escort service. Okay, okay. This is the refrigerator. There are cold drinks there. Okay. You can still use our bar if you want. And this is our bedroom. Then I will direct one of our escort services to be with you soon. Thank you very much. Okay, if I need anything, I'll definitely let you know. Okay, sir. See you later. Oh, I am Vanessa, and I'm here to take you around. You know, Abuja is really a nice place. Of course it is. Um, <laughs> with, uh, I mean, uh, well-civilized people. Oh, you can say that again. Um, I heard everything has been paid for, for mm -hmm. you, so you don't have to worry, okay? <laughs> I will be nice to you if you are nice to me. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like a walk? I wouldn't mind one, you know. Mm, that would be lovely. <laughs> Let's hit the road. All right. <laughs> um, I am Vanessa and you are? Uh, just call me Thompson. Thompson Adebo. Thompson. Yeah. Sounds nice. That's a good. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so uh, mm. lovely shape, you know. Thank you. So you're a very beautiful girl. I mean, I truly don't know why you're doing this. Have you ever considered leaving this tree and? I mean, there is something better than planning of getting married. Thompson, this is a noble trade. I mean, it is not prostitution. Anyways, why do you ask? Do you want to marry me? Of course. <sighs> if you are there, I'll definitely marry you. Oh, look at this poor little boy. Oh, come on, Pete. Thompson, you don't even have money. You don't have money to take care of me? Mm -mm. Is that what you think? Hmm? I have my own savings. And I just got a multi international job. Alright? So, I, I mean, I'm going to make lots of money. You wouldn't mind starting life with me from the scratch. <laughs> yeah, you're very funny. You too. Sorry, I have to take this call. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, how are you? Dignified Ash. Oh, okay, I'll call you back, okay? Alright, bye. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay. I had to take the call. Excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> so where did we stop? Oh, where are we going to start from? Okay, so I studied mechanical engineering in school. And you? And I studied English, first degree, in mass communication, masters. Oh, good. That's interesting, you know. Yeah, right, I know. Uh, I mean, I don't have the right to ask you what you're doing here with me. But I still don't get why you don't want to, you know, say anything about my proposal. Proposal? And which proposal is that? Marriage. Thompson? Mm -hmm. If 
you ever want to see me around you again? Don't you ever talk about marriage? Don't! Don't! Excuse <laughs> me, don't you don't! Vanessa! Beautiful name. And you look so dedicated with your job. Thank you. That's good. So, can I at least um, have your phone number? Uh, please. No, I can't give it to you. It's against the hotel policy. Well, what hotel policy are you talking about? See, I just want to have your hotel number. It still has to do with something about job. So in case I have a job or come in contact of any job, I can just um, hook you up. That's why I need your phone number. Okay, I've heard you. But right now, I'm working, please. I have work to do. Okay. Same thing we're still talking about. What I'm trying to say is that, um, I, mean, I mean, the number, the number. You know, it, I it, am it, sorry, I can't give you my number. Please. So I'm sorry for yesterday. I'm really sorry. And I promise not to talk about anything related to marriage. Okay? I I understand this. It reminds you of um, someone or something. I, I don't know, but I promise not to talk about it anymore. Actually, you are right. It was a man like you that did this to me. Yeah. I put all my trust, all my hope in him. And what did he do? He crushed it. You know, I was shattered. I felt so bad. In fact, I had to run away from that town. Right now, every man is a suspect. In fact, I fear men. But I have my eyes wide open. <laughs> you know what they say about one's beaten. So I shall. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is it? I, I, I have to go back to the hotel. I need to get something. Back to the... Back. Come, come. Just let me just get from the company is here. Okay. 
Yeah, hold on. I'm on the bed. person I have been waiting for, I don't understand. What is that I don't understand? Everything. Where is this place? Where I am? Ben. And, and you, who are you? Ben, just relax. You will understand everything. Jennifer, you have been late and worked with. The Jennifer, you know, I have been the one chatting you all this while. There was never a business. I paid for all your expenses for the hotel bill. All. Oh, and travel, I paid for all. And where did you get all the money? Ben, that is not what you should be asking. You should be asking why I spent all the money. I mean, why I took the risk. Why I should do everything I did to bring you out from the house to here. I'm surprised. Really surprised. Ben, remember, I once asked if you were in any relationship with Uche. I am not. Honestly, I am not. Ben, I wanted to have a holiday. I have worked and worked. As a woman, I choose to rest here in Abuja. And of course with you. <sighs> I just wanted to know how much I love you. My number? Yes. How? I want you to understand. See, I just need your number so I can call you whenever you're free. Let's reconnect. Don't you understand? Security! Okay, see, see. Calm, calm. Security! Just the number. Okay, see, see. Security! Just write it. Uh-uh! Which can't be this now? You want to work for me? What one hour this of a get out? Ah! Do this. 
Of course, Ben. That is why I'm here. Yeah, sure. Yes. I can do anything for you. Cause of you, baby. I can do anything to be with you, yeah. Because of you, baby. I can do anything to win your heart. Because of you, baby. I can do anything to be your one and only. Because of you. On you, the first time I set my eyes on you, all I see is the picture of your heart. Oh, how you feeling for you? I'm really falling for you. I'm really ben, for you. what is it? something I mean I I thought of someone and who was that never mind it is Uche right I know have you ever told her you love her no besides her father sees you as a good digger You tell me the plan. There's no job, right? Mm. Now you are asking intelligently. When you return, tell Mr. Douglas and his children that you have received an appointment letter. Don't worry. I will take care of that. Tell them that the company gave you one month to fully plan for your relocation. During this period, we will go to the registry and get married. I have already paid for an apartment in Lagos. We will move to Lagos. And you? I mean, what are you going to tell them? Never mind. I have planned everything from the beginning to the end. I can do 
again your hotel accommodation expires tomorrow and your flight is also scheduled for tomorrow by 4 p.m. from the underworld. God. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? So what's this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Dad. <laughs> Someone who doesn't know you wouldn't know you have such a sense of humor. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. You can have just two glasses. I'm coming to bring all our night glasses. Someone's coming to the car. Yeah. That's a car. Yeah. Are you expecting it? No? That's a car. Yeah. Oh, that's Ben. Woo! What's up? Uh, ben? Ben? Oh, ben. Ben. I have a full oh, house once again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, man. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Welcome, bro. Welcome, bro. Ben. Good to have you. Welcome you, back. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We have a full house once again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. All the way from the airport? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thank you. something? Oh. 
Um, yes, sir. My my wallet. I I forgot it somewhere. Oh, are you sure you didn't forget it in the cab? Um, I thought as much, but I think it should be in the room. So I just want to check in the room. Oh, I just wanted to ask something. This new job that you started. Um, do you prefer it to the job you have here? Um, uh, what I mean is that, you know, um, you need to compare the two jobs to find out the one that is better before you take your decision. True, it's not usually good to rush into a job and something you're not very sure of in the beginning, you know? I know. Thank you very much, sir. What's of our elders? What's of wisdom? wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Just check for you. Okay. So Ben, generally, how would you rate your stay in South Africa? Oh, we're way, way back one. Really? Seriously, yeah. we are. Trust me, I just can't wait to go back and resume work. See, they have better opportunities there than here. Seriously, they do. I told you last night. Well, that uh, takes me back memory lane. When uh, your father, Jennifer's father and I you know, went to America for a short course, mm -hmm. we almost did not come back. <laughs> it was so comfortable, I'm telling you, you know. Yeah, we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're making good progress, mm -hmm. of course. And that brings me, I, I just keep praying and wishing that our leaders mm -hmm. will come and do everything they have seen and brought here. <laughs> that's what I implemented and that's why this home is working now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ben, I know you're enjoying the meal. Yeah, yeah. I've fed the meal. Well, Ben, you're welcome once again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to keep your eyes open. You have to keep your eyes open. Look over your shoulders because these xenophobic attacks we see on the TV, I believe they are real. No, 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 it's true, it's true, it's true, but more with the um, informal sector, okay. yeah, yeah, but I still watch my back door. Yeah. <laughs> the table man has less eat, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you have a new woman in your life? I don't. But hopefully so. I used to believe that it is the duty of a man to propose love to a woman. But I cannot wait any longer. I'm in love with you. Your absence from the house made me realize my feelings for you. I miss you so much. Please, see something.
Good afternoon, sir. Young lady, how are you? I'm fine, sir. My name is uh, Chief Douglas. It's a good one. Who did you come to see? This is my house. Uh, Izu, your son, sir. Oh, you know Izu is my son. So what's your name? I'm Mary, sir. Mary? Beautiful name. Maybe I should call you Virgin Mary. <laughs> Come, I'd like to advise you. Someone is at the door. Dad, Izu, what is it? Um, Dad, there is something I want us to discuss. So, can I come in? No, you can't. Why don't you discuss it at the office tomorrow morning? Hmm? Uh, yeah, whatever it is, can wait. Listen, Izu. You have to learn how to be a man. Hmm? Patient. Whatever it is, hold it. Tomorrow we'll discuss it. I did, I did. <laughs> I can see you're ready for morning devotion. Exactly. Okay. Um, in that case, why don't you call dad? Uh, yes. I'll be waiting downstairs. Okay. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Jim. I'm fine, Daddy. It's time for morning prayers, right? Yes, Daddy. Sorry, I will not be joining you this morning. So go and lead the prayers. Okay, Daddy. Daughter of the moon.
Come right in. Oh, oh. Yes, good morning. Good morning. How are you? How was your night? I slept well. Okay, I slept well. Ah, we we'll have a meeting at the office, right? Yes. Yeah. You may have to use the other car and take every other person to the office. Okay. I'll be joining you people late. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So see you soon. All right, Dad. Um, yeah, yeah, any problem? Not at all. Mm. All right, so see you soon. Okay, then. what you've turned me into. Since you don't want to marry me, what else will I benefit from this relationship? Oga, said to me, let me go. So, if I just touch you small, you will open your hands for money as a single. That's how it goes. What's this for? The money you asked for. <laughs> this money won't be enough for my hair. Oga, you are not marrying me. <laughs> I need to look good for another person. Give me money, let me go. I should use my money and make you look good for another man, right? Answer me. <laughs> Oga, you're not marrying me. Say to me, let me go. Uber outside, is it for you? Oh, yes. So, where are you going to? Okay, I'm off to fish market. Ah. Yes. So, we're having fish pepper soup today? Oh, no. We're not having fish pepper soup. I am having fish pepper soup. Izu, if you want to be part of this delicacy, let me have your own malakai. <laughs> so, I can get enough. <laughs> All these accountants. So. <laughs> Let me see what I have here. Okay. Um, Uche, I don't have money here. Just make use of your money. I owe you. How about that? I'll pay. Izu, where are you coming from? What kind of question is that? Because it's so unusual for you not to have money in your wallet or in your pocket. Brother, are you sure you're not into gambling? Gambling? Yes. Well, this one is more than gambling. Oh. But let's not talk about it, okay? Just go to watch your back. See no evil oh. of inside. Hear yeah, no evil. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm coming. Hi. Sorry for the delay. Oh. 
Why are you following me? Why? Shut up. Was picture better? Was she? was confused. Confused over what? Have you ever thought I could be pregnant? What do you have with Jennifer? Which I don't know why you'll be asking me such questions when you know the answer. I don't have anything with Jennifer. And you know what? What? I don't think I can continue with that South African job. Why? Because I don't want to be far away from you. I don't want to leave your side. I don't want to be far away from you. At first I thought we were just friends, but now I know I'm feeling something for you. And that's what I'm feeling. Uche, are you saying that Jenny is pregnant for him? Um, it's okay. Stop crying, okay? I'm coming. The mystery of life is beyond human knowledge. And this is my opinion. Signed, Chief Douglas. And this is how I feel about it. Signed, Chief Douglas. Uh, Jennifer. You don't look good. You're not happy. I'm not sad, sir. I brought some good news. But then, spell it. I'm getting married. You're getting one? I mean... I have found someone I, I meant to say. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> that's good news. Thank you. I will bring him for you to see soon. Okay. I mean, I'm happy that I'm going to fulfill your father's wish. Finally, I'll hand over everything that he has kept for you because he left a lot of properties and a lot of things for you. I can so that I'll have time to take up my own. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Welcome. You can go beyond what you don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Life is no what you think you can easily you get. You need to warn her. Would you calm down? Are you reporting that to me or you're warning me as well? Well, I'm sorry about my average. But you need to talk to her. Calm warn down. her. I am here to report her to you. Calm down now, eh? Huh? Why did you report her to me? Is it not for me to do something? So relax. I would like to hear her own side of the story. I need you to talk to her. Izu, you need to talk to her. You need to warn Jennifer. This is my father's house. And I will not stand her trying to intimidate me. I am the only daughter of Chief Douglas. You know that? Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear that again. And you know dad wouldn't be happy hearing it either. Shut up! Okay. Talk to Jennifer. Talk to her! You're crazy. You've got not. Everyone has a call right in this house. Ha! Huh. So, so many things have been happening in this house. Uche, Jennifer, Ben. So, you know, I have eyes and ears all over. I hear and I see what you think I will not see. But I need you to be a part of it. I need you to come in. How do you want me to come in? Good. I told you this before, but uh, it seemed like you were too busy looking outside instead of looking inside. And so you did not understand it. Now, let me make it clearer to you. I want you to propose to Jennifer. Yes. If you marry Jennifer, then it will clear the path for Ben and Uche. That's what I want. That's what you want? Oh, well, that's what will be good for the families. Wow. Okay. This may sound selfish, but... Uh, in the beginning, this company belonged to Jennifer's father, Ben's father, and I. And we had agreed that if any one of us fell out, then, as in death, then we would bequeath our shares to our children. So that we can keep the business within the family. It was our agreement. That's why you find out that the company belongs to Jennifer, Ben, and I right now because the two men are late. If I was the one who died, it would have been the same way. You would have been the co-owner with Jennifer's father and Ben's father. Oh, don't they know about this? Um, not exactly. Um, see, there are a lot of other properties and a whole sum of cash you know kept aside that belong to Jennifer and Ben. Now if you remember you have been depositing some money into two different accounts you know those monies represent the percentage shares of their fathers and of course they are late and so the money belongs to them. Now Look at it this way. I wish to relinquish my own shareholding to you because I want to rest. I'm tired. I've achieved. So if you go ahead and marry Jennifer, all this will belong to you. It automatically means that you own 60% or more shares of this company. Now what that means is that the whole world still remains within the family as we had planned. This is serious. But how come you never told me about this? I had to be as secretive as possible. I didn't want it leaking anywhere. Besides, I told you to open your eyes that you are my son. You needed to follow my steps. 
You don't need a suit, say, oh, you don't need to wear glasses to see what is going on now. Listen, son, now that you know, keep this secret and walk towards it. On the other end, I'll be tying the knot. Okay? I'll do my part. Do your part. Again? Yeah, alright. That's my song. So when you <clears throat> you mean you're not going to work to me? I'm not. I mess up. Then you get yourself out of it. Yes. We all have our bad sides. But in all, we have to be diplomatic. But if I may ask you, what actually happened to you? Is why I can't still. How then do you intend to solve the problem? Well, it's a problem. It is another thing. I will see you when I come back. going on between you and Uche because I live in this house and I I know nothing <sighs> that is exactly what I don't know how to explain I and Uche fell in love with Ben with marriage intention but that idiot was... Do you really love Ben? I don't think I do. I was only trying to get over my past. And I don't want to look far. But I have been here. We have been friends. We have been friends even before Ben came into the picture. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. Yes. I like you. And I still do. But your father won't approve it. Why? He knows my past. He will not like his son. I mean, his only son to marry someone like me. Why do you think so? I may be thinking wrongly. <sighs> Things get me sad by the day. But I think. I have to leave this place. I, I, I don't even know that you will still talk to me. No, no, no. You will get over this soon. Very soon. Okay. Is you, do, do you really understand what I'm saying here? Of course I do. Excuse me. Thank 
So, how are you? Well, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I hope you've had enough to drink. Are you ready to go on? I'm okay. You can ask for more if you want. No, I'm okay, sir. I'm okay, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to waste your time because I have some left to go. Well, it's good. Uh, it's one of those things I asked you to do. You make money from me, it's not a problem, okay? Um, I have to leave because of time. Okay, sir. It's nice to be business with you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. If you want to do The mystery of life is beyond human knowledge. You can go beyond what you don't know. Oh, yeah. Daddy? Yeah? Are you traveling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I have um, worked all my life making money for this family. So I need rest like this sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, have a safe trip, Dad. <laughs> thank you. Safe and sack. Yeah, thank you. We are going to miss you, Daddy. Oh, I'll miss you all too. Uh, please, take care of the house. Make sure everything is good and out. And for you, Ben, take life gently, okay? Uh, life is full of ups and downs, but that does not mean it's the end of the world. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Daddy, I'll work you out. Take out the house. I think I need to travel to Africa. So where? You are not going anywhere. You are staying here. You think I'm done with you? Huh? Listen, we were one big family before you came into our house. Exactly. So after tearing us apart, you want to leave? No. Sit down there. Put your ass here. Sit. What are you doing? I'm the one who sits on the floor. Hmm! I'm supposed to sit on the floor. 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 I'm the only daughter of Chief Douglas. <laughs> so, what's good? What are we having for lunch? Yeah, so truly, what do we have for lunch? <clears throat> Ben, I told you, I told you, let's stop by at that restaurant and you said, let's go home. Uche must have finished cooking by now, so. Really? Which Uche? <laughs> Did you employ any Uche as your cook? I beg, I beg, I beg, please, I don't have the time. Ah, look at my nails now. I should go into the kitchen and make food for you. Please, not today. <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen. We'll find something. We have chefs as men. Do that for once. <laughs>
I'm here with our daughter. Your daughter. For her sake. Please forgive me. Richard, what are you doing here? Tell me, please. Please leave. Forgive me for the sake of our daughter. Please. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave here right now. Leave! Jenny, don't do this. Please don't do this. Fuck. Some people don't own Sha. So you have a daughter as old as me. Yet you're here dragging with a gang gang girl. I mean a selense girl who wants to marry properly. Ah. <laughs> You wicked. Eh? You are not ashamed of yourself. Huh? See your gnash don't open. Why? <laughs> ah, are, you, are you deaf? Open the door. Your baby dad is knocking. Your baby dad is knocking. Open up, go and meet him with your adult daughter. <laughs> you played away match and now it has come to bite you in the face. <laughs> Go, 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 go and meet them. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Ha, ah, Jenny. God has punished you. You think there's anything hidden under the sun? This is my God that I serve has exposed your nash. You're going to drag with a selling said girl like me. You're not ashamed of yourself. Go. What are you waiting for? He's waiting for you now. Your baby dad is waiting. Go and meet your baby dad. You meet your adult daughter. Go, 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 go. Excuse. Yes, yes, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. go. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Richard, what is the meaning of this? Richard, do you know what you have just done? <laughs> oh my God, thank you. Thank you, you have done it. <laughs> Imagine, I can't believe this. Nonsense. <laughs> oh my god! Um... Get out. Jenny, and don't do don't this. Ever you try it next time. Jenny, please don't do this. Remember, I'm your daughter's father. Our daughter Linda. Please. Get out! You cursed father! <sighs> you want to blackmail me with Linda, right? Next time you try it, I will kill you! Mommy, please. For my sake, Mommy, we miss you. Please come back. Mommy, please. I think this situation has solved itself naturally. So just the put the first left. Hmm. I think so. So I think we should just forget about the past and uh, look forward to the future.
Why mine is middle? I know. We have talked about it. Alright. Um, ben, I've heard all that you said. But give me time to discuss with my daughter. I want to know her inner mind. Thank you very much, sir. Mm, okay. mm, but, sir, I... I, I... But what? Huh? Feel free to talk to me. I'm like a father to you now. So you can talk. It's okay, sir. It all depends on what she tells you. Oh. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Uh, yes, Daddy. Uh, but while you were away, Richard showed up with our daughter Linda. Richard? Yes. I mean, who showed him here? Who told him where you were? How did he get to know? Sir, so, please, uh, with everything that has happened, I think I should go back to him. Go back to Richard? Yes, sir. At least for the sake of our daughter, Linda. This is not good at all. What, what did you say? No, no, no I, I was just talking to myself. Okay, I, I will put all the papers together and then uh, hand them over to you. Uh, just as we have discussed. Uh, honestly, I am happy for you now, my daughter, that uh, you are finally settling down. Ah, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, please, I'm sorry for all the troubles that I must have caused you. Ah, don't worry about that. You are a daughter to me. Okay? Mm. Ah, have you eaten something? Yeah, we just finished the game. I took my oh. What's up? Did you tell him? What was his response? Talk to me. Was he angry? Was he excited? Uh, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm calm. He said he would discuss with you first. Is that all? That he wants to know your inner mind. I wanted to know that what happened between Jennifer and I was a mistake, a huge mistake. Uche, it is you I love. Me? Yes, you. I can do anything for you. I can do anything to be now. with you, yeah. <laughs> There's no need to pack out of my room. You know I'm getting married very soon. So I'll go and stay in the guest room. Huh? So you can stay here all alone. Never mind. Mm. The last time I checked, mm. it is your father's house. Mm. So I rather leave to the boys' quarters for you. Oh. Stay here. No, oh, you know. <laughs> Pretend that does the worst. See how your nyash has opened. 
last time I came. Oh, you don't know before. Nonsense. You want to enjoy the privilege of, of, of what your black jeff is enjoying. Go! Go! Let me shut my door. Ah! No, leave it. Why? Leave it. <laughs> you stop. That's not nice. Where's the other picture you're showing me? Yes. Okay. The one I posted. But not there. No, there's the one I saw there. I want to see. Hi guys. Hi Jennifer. How are you? Hey. I'm fine. Good. Ben. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that before you marry a widow, <laughs> that you must first of all ask what killed her husband. <clears throat> well, I have not heard of it, but uh, it sounds true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am applying this directly to you. Do you know? Uche was once married. Yeah. Do you know she's a widow? Do you know her husband died of poison? Hmm. Well, I guess you don't know all this. So, how will you know that she killed her husband? That's a lie. I no, I didn't kill my husband. I didn't. Ben, believe me, I didn't kill my husband. You were married? And now a widow? <laughs> well, 
nothing is hidden under the sun. <laughs> Uche, you said this few days ago. Yeah. Anyway, one has to be careful of what he eats in this house. You can see, poison specialists are around. Are you shocked? <laughs> Man, you got to be careful! <laughs> I didn't kill my husband. I didn't kill my husband, believe me. Daddy, this is all your fault. You let me into this. You made me marry that sick man, and now I'm being accused of murder. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter. I agree to all my fault. I was being selfish, I know. But all I did, I did for you. What I wanted to do was to secure a good future for you. <laughs> Who is accusing you? Jennifer. She found the papers. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything seems to be going wrong. <laughs> Daddy, I need to go far away from this place. Why? <laughs> I want the past behind me, Dad. I need to call John and for him to come take me away from him. Are you sure, John? Can you rely on? I don't. I don't. I don't have a choice, Eddie. I have to manage. Then, in that case, I would have to hand over everything your late husband left for you. No, no, I don't want any of these things. I don't want them. I don't, don't, don't give them to me, Dad. Don't. Listen to me, my daughter. You will need them later. John, that you're going to, does not have any money. He cannot take care of you. Your late husband, like I told you, is from a wealthy home, from a known family. Listen, you need that money. You need it. You don't even have a share in the company. Daddy, what, what did you just say? I, I... About what? I told him I wanted something from the company to, to, to start up something. Okay, so what did he say? Imagine if you, Daddy looked me in the eye and told me I've got no share with the company. I don't understand. It, mean, it means he willed everything to you. Do you know anything about this? <sighs> <clears throat> well, is um, it's not exactly what you think. So what? It's kind of complicated. Okay, but if I may ask, what do you want? <laughs> I want to start up something. I want to build something. I, wanna, I need money. I mean, <sighs> okay, fine. I will. Make something available for you. Yeah, but as for the company, 
you are just a staff. <sighs> but that's not fair. It's okay. You promised to give him some money. <sighs> I'll get you some money. Thank you. Are you okay now? Come on, it's my house. I'm managing. Just bring all of them together because I have no other option. Settle all their quarrels and reveal everything to them. I will give to each one of them what is due to them because man proposes, God disposes. I am tired of this game. I want to spend the rest of my life with John. I love you. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, what can we say? Mm -hmm. uh, you've had your experiences and uh, you've now grown up to make your own choice. You know what you want. So, are you talking about me? I give my approval. <laughs> but um, you know that you must be submissive to your husband. You must respect your husband so that he can love you because uh, respect is reciprocal. Uh, so you can move ahead. So, you're my brother. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Together like this. Of course. Thank you. Anything to do with your husband? Bye. I am happy to be with you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just try to think about it.
There's no problem. Good. I'm happy that things are finally turning out good in my house. No, just last week it was Uche and Jam. Mm. Today, it is you, Richard, and Jennifer. Yeah. I am really glad. <laughs> Both of you have come to tell me about your intentions. Yeah. And I must tell you expressly that uh, the union has my blessings. Wow. We are very great. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should celebrate, shouldn't we? <laughs> Not really, Daddy. Not yet. <laughs> Anyway, we still have time. Yes. Okay, let's celebrate some other time. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, um, enjoy yourself. Feel at home. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know the car can hit you. What are you doing in front of the car? Chief Douglas, please. I want you to help me talk to my husband then. I have two kids for him. Oh, he suddenly abandoned us and ran away. Please. How did you get my name? You were my father-in-law's friend. You were also there at our wedding. You're Lucy? Yes, sir. Yes. What do you have to say? If she wants her to come back, I don't have a choice. I ran away because she was being too troublesome. But you're a young woman. I thought you you fight for a divorce. How come you're coming back again? And sir, the divorce was granted. I did. But honestly, I was so foolish. But I'm not back to my senses. Please. Stop, stop. Well, I guess you don't have any option now. Your father left a lot of fortune for me. For you. And he gave me instructions to give them to you if you remarry. Now that you have her, I guess I have to hand over everything to you. Believing that you are not going to leave your family and run away again. Make sure you take care of her. You have enough to do with it. She's your wife. Thank you, sir. Please, I'm fulfilled. I'm so sorry. Um, baby, this dress is fine. I like this one. What's the price tag? That's how you almost made me um, buy a wedding ring worth 250000 naira. But baby, you have the money. Wedding is only in a lifetime. Please make it memorable for me. And our remaining day is horrible, right? Please. I'm not in the mood for this argument. Okay. What about the reception? We are really told. In the compound. Eh? You heard me right. This compound? Ha! We know. But we agreed on using one of the halls of the Rendezvous Hotel. The Rendezvous Ward. Do you know how much their whole cost? 550,000 naira. Baby, I know, but we have the money. Okay. We have the money now. We. You, you are home. <laughs> 
30,000 I'm paying for it. Mm. It's more than 30 pounds in the house. <laughs> Zoo? Hi, Dad. Hello. Hello. I you see you're very busy. Yeah. This house has become so empty. I feel lonely. Don't you think we should get a housemaid? We need wives. Hello. Wives? Yes. Well for you and well for me. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, um, so, um, what have we decided so far? When are we going to see Mary Spirit? Why the front? What's the issue? Dad, Mary is not my kind of woman. Really? So, if she's not your kind of woman, then don't start what you can't finish. <laughs> it's obvious to me that uh, you don't know what you want in life. You come from a very poor and wretched home, yet you ask for expensive things. What an irony. Well, I called you here for one reason. That's to tell you something. To make you aware that you should know you will not marry my son. Ah. Bet why? Simple. You've been sleeping with both of us. Uh, it's because I need money. Money. That's exactly my point. You do not need a husband. What you need is money. I will give you money. <laughs> you mean you give me money? I just said it. Are you tempting me? No. I'm helping your life. Uh, but it sounds like temptation. A man is drawn away of his own loss. You are tempted by the things you love and the things you can die for. In your case, it is money. So send me your account number if your account can take seven figures. Okay, so, uh, are you ready to marry Mary and to live with her for the rest of your life? Dad. Well, I am. Um... I am still thinking. I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh. And you, Mary? Are you ready? Is there any other issue? Um, I don't want to marry Izu. Yes, I used to love him, but... But now I... I don't think marriage is what I want. So what do you want? I want money and the other one. That's all. You need money. You will get money. Uh, is it? One moment. I want to see you. Dad, you have the files. Are you done with them all? Uh, yes, I am done. Huh? You are truly a machine. The way you walk, you trust me. 
No, I, I mean, uh, we need to ask you something. Okay. Uh, now that Mary tried to do it, what are your plans? Well, I, I am yet to decide on something. What does it take you so long to take a decision? Dad, I am taking my time. I don't want to make mistakes. People make mistakes, they correct them. Make mistakes, correct them, make amends, and then move on. That's what it is. You don't just keep staying in one place without taking decisions. Make mistakes, that's a sign of going up to be a man. Make mistakes, take corrections. That's true. That's true. Anyway, uh, I just want to let you know that I employed her on this topic. She'll be resuming today. Wow. That's nice. That's nice. You know, it has not been easy for me combining the two jobs since Jennifer left. I think uh, it's a good one. The workhouse. But you didn't even ask why I employed another secretary. Of course, I did because. Uh, it's a place I want to sit in. Are you done with the fire? No, yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How may we be of help? Can I sit? Oh, sorry, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Sit. Thank you. Oh. oh. I'm listening. I'm Vanessa. Okay. The new company secretary. Uh, you were not at the staff meeting this morning where I was introduced. So the director asked me to come to you and introduce myself to you. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's lovely. Uh, 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 well, my name is Isuchuku Douglas. Oh. I am the operation manager. See. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Pleasure all my. Okay. Now that the introduction has been done, I have to take my go, Vanessa? So Well, this is supposed to be your office. I think I have to move my things to another office. On the contrary, sir. You don't have to move your things yet. You know, I think I have to stay with you for a while so that I can learn a few things from you. I will be long thinking of my things. Okay. That's cool. Oh. So, I'll be on my way. Holy Moses, where did dad get this babe from? Chief Douglas. You are late again today. I'm sorry, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What's the really latest problem? Why are you on this bit? Sir, sir, I am still new in town. I don't have a permanent place to stay yet. Okay. In fact, I moved from one friend to the other. Right now, I'm staying with a relative at the new bike house. Okay. Um, I, I am going to speak to my father about it. Let me see if I can create a space for you in our house. That's that. That's if you don't mind. 
Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, I would be so, so grateful. Honestly, if you can do that for me, that would be so nice. Mm. I guess that till I find another place. Thank you so much. This babe never know what's up. Once she entered her house, now forever. Sir. Um. Um. Please, can you do me a favor? What is it? Um, it's just one thing. Okay. I'll be needing one week. Just one week. So that I can get my things together. And then concentrate fully on what it is. Just one week. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank um, you. Any other thing? Um, yes. And what is that? I was wondering if you can take me around the city this evening. At least so I can see the beauty of this city. Don't worry, don't worry. Consider it done. Really? Yeah. Thank you! What? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. <laughs> This is what I have been avoiding. Now that I believe I have found a woman my heart desires, Mary shows up with pregnancy. To hell with Mary! To hell with her. But... Is this not only making my fate same with the others? How do I solve this? If I set my eyes on that Mary of a girl, I will kill her. I will poison her. Mary, what's this now? Eh? Why are, you, why are you keeping me here? Say whatever you want to say now. Let me go. Your father, Chief Douglas, is the father of my unborn baby.
You mean you have been sleeping with my father? You say you don't have much time. Your father told me you were only using me. And from your attitude towards me, I saw you was right. The only thing you wanted was sex. So, what does my father want from you? Both of you are the same. You play games with people's minds. Only that he is better. He has conscience. He gives me money to take care of my family, which is what I need. But you, I pity the woman who would agree to marry you. So, was that why you, you changed and uh, suddenly became demanding and all that? You can say whatever you want to say. But you and your father cannot use me and company. I'm coming into that house as your stepmother. For Christ's sake. I was an innocent girl. The only crime I committed was coming from a poor family. Chief Douglas, you are the devil himself. You are practically the cause of all the problems we've been having in this house. You keep using us. You condition our thinking and our actions. You use us as pawns. Funny enough, when we find ourselves in that trouble, we keep running to you for help. Is what are you talking about? What are you saying? I met with Mary. We have been talking. Oh, I should have known this was going to be all about. You mean all this ranting and running around? It's all about me. Oh, come on, Izzo. I thought you had something more serious to talk about. Oh, so it, it, it is not a serious issue to you. Someone's happiness does not mean anything to you. That you knew I was having something serious with Mary. Yes, you went behind having her. You got her pregnant. And made her destroy something we were, we were almost building together. God, you are evil. Oh, I should have known. Now I know why you never mentioned anything about my mother. She may be one of those you have used. Don't, don't you ever mention your mother in this matter. That is a red line you must not cross. Do not. Ever. She was dead to me. Don't. Listen, go get yourself some beer and drink some sense into you. Okay? Calm down. You need it. Because I have realized that every time something is wrong, you just keep willing, willing, willing. Instead of looking for a way forward, drink some sense into you and then think of the next action to take against positive. All right? That's a solution. Okay.
Yeah. Take For what? You'll be driving me to work today. I don't want to go with you. Why? I want to stay far away from you. Because I have reasons to believe there is something evil about you. I, your father, Chief Douglas, evil? Take the keys. And I said, no, it's an order. You will drive me to work today. It's an order. You really haven't learned anything from me. What can I possibly learn from you? You allow little things bother you and I don't understand. You call that a little thing. Dad, you were sleeping with my girlfriend. Oh, shut up. She was not your girlfriend. She was your home. And you made her say she doesn't want to marry me. I was protecting you. That girl is a hawk. And you're just like a little chick. She will shred you and use you for dinner. Now she's pregnant for you. Leave that to me. I'll take your vat. Okay? I want the baby. I'm sure he's a boy. I'm sure he's a boy. Uh, listen, you have Vanessa now. Concentrate on her. Should I get you some more? No. Please talk to me. Uh, your dad might be back any moment from now. And I don't want him to meet me. Alright. You... You told my dad you needed some money, right? I'll give you money. But you must go away forever. I will, I swear. <laughs> Can I use the toilet? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. some more money available for you um, next week. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I need you to travel far away from here. Use the money and set yourself up. Start up a new life. If you meet them with a meal. Alternatively, you can 
get rid of the pregnancy so that you will be free. Okay. Uh, Are you okay? I I feel uneasy. Oh, you you have to go now. You have to go. Okay. I haven't left this house since yesterday. What is happening? Are you alright? I am worried sick. I am pained. What is it? Here. I have not heard from her since. Is it because of Mary you decided to stay indoors since yesterday? Do you love her that much? The baby. I won't tell the baby. Oh, sorry. So sorry. moved on with her life. Since then, her number has been unreachable. 
Ah, uh, listen, Dad. Um, this is quite unfortunate, boy. You don't have to be sad. Right. Mm. You... You have to forget about Mary now and move forward. We need you. We need you. Yeah. Today is like a Saturday. Well, that's because you didn't go to work. Excuse me. So who was that? It was Uche, your daughter. Oh, I missed her call earlier. Yeah, she has been oh. calling. What does she want? She said she's coming to town. She's coming to see us. She's having a problem with her husband. <sighs> I really do not know how to start explaining things to you right now. But there are so many reasons. I mean, so many reasons this marriage cannot work. Daddy, Daddy, John and I have decided to go on our separate ways. Absolutely. Yes, forever. That's a summary. Just like that. Izu, explanations are unnecessary. They're useless. Well, uh, when you wanted to come together, both of you agreed to come together. And we obliged you. Now you want to go your separate ways. Both of you have agreed to go your separate ways. How I wish I could bring all those who were present at the ceremony back. But it's okay. If that is what you want, so be it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, Uche. 
Daddy. Tell me, what is next? Daddy, I want to come back home. I'm asking for your permission. Well, it's your father's house. You can come back anytime you want. Permission granted. Thank you so much, Daddy. We will arrange the point of your parents. Thank you, Daddy. So, Daddy, how are you? I wish I could be better. Is it okay? Richard, this marriage is not working out and we have concluded that everybody should go to his or her own way. What's the big deal? Agreed. But at least let us rehearse this before we present it before your father. Rehearse what? This is displeasing to the hearing. Oh, my dear. This is a very pleasant situation. Of course, there is no big deal there. I have to say it exactly the way it is. The marriage has ended. In fact, there was never a marriage at the first place. Ah, yes. But Jenny, wait. Jenny, let us don't don't do this. I am Jenny, going, don't Richard. Do this. Please. I'm going. Please. Jenny, don't do this. Richard, please. I am going. What is keeping this thing? Like that? That thing will have all the time. This is one thing you must tolerate about women. At least to a certain extent. You know who they are? If you can't wait, then get a driver to buy the body. What is it? Um, uh, I think Jenny can explain better. I want to hear from you. What is it? Jenny wants to be controlling me. Everywhere, every time, even in the public. I think what she needs is not a husband, but a houseboy that will be running her errands. Uh, I, I'm tired of this marriage, please. I can't continue with it. you hear that? The only truth on what he said that he's tired of his marriage. And that is good. Daddy, I provide everything. I do the house chores. I mean, I washed, I cooked. He cannot do anything. He's lazy. I'm sure you knew about all this before you went back to this same Richard. Isn't it? So why are you complaining? I mean, you should have known Richard has always been like this. He hasn't changed. Oh, you think he will ever change? So where is linda i had to put her in boarding school to prevent her from seeing how this mama treats me in the house well it should be between man and wife we can always be resolved i'm sure it's something we can resolve resolve daddy yes we can resolve so. dad outside all this there is one remote cause of all this what is it what is it i didn't know until i came in richard has another wife but I mean, he brought her into the house that I paid for. What? You Richard? See? That's unacceptable. Richard, is, is that true? Um, um, I... I, I what? I can explain. You can I explain? Come on, get out of here. What um, explanation are you see? Richard, will you get out? No, come on. Go on. Come on. Bitch. Leave. Dad, can you come imagine? No sense with this. Ah. So, so he, he has another wife? Yes, he has another wife. Uh, and she's staying with us. <laughs> so much for love and stupidity. Wait, I want to understand this. Are you saying as at the time she was filing that divorce? She was still staying with another man. No, is that it? Is it true, Lucy? When the man came begging, she accepted him. Meaning? No, meaning? Dad, bring your voice down, please. Vanessa shouldn't be hearing all this. I don't care. Let her hear. Let her hear everything. If she has gray areas in her life, then she will make amends. Ah, 
In fact, go and call her. Go and call her. So, what are you trying to say? I prefer the other man. Huh? When she came crying the other day, it was like I was a bad person. In fact, I don't want to see you. Get out of this place. Leave now! supposed to pray, but um, where is Ben? He will be joining us soon. He was actually having his back. Just wait on the Oh, there he is. We were waiting for him. Sorry, sir. Okay, let's pray. Father, sanctify this food in Jesus' name. Let's, let's eat it in the nourishment of our bodies and to glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Um, <clears throat> Dad, there is something we want to ask you. What is it, sir? Daddy, why are we all having marriage issues in this house? Huh? You and Mom were not so good before she passed on. Now, you see what's been happening to me lately? Jennifer is not even left out. Izu told me so many passed away. Daddy, why are we so unlucky? Why? Hmm. I've been expecting this question for some time now. So I'm not surprised it is coming now. But I will answer. Jennifer's father, Ben's father, and I, we are both some friends who grew up together, being tight and very close friends. In fact, in my entire life, I've never seen friends so close like ours. To the extent that we even agree that our destinies were tied to each other and that we had to live together all our lives. It's unfortunate that they have passed, but this has been passed on to the family. I can understand the fact that uh, each and every one of you is scattered uh, around trying to struggle for survival individually. But everything has been wrong until working together. So, we need to come together. We need to be one family to reap the benefits of the seeds we have sown. So, are you trying to say that all we need is togetherness? Secretary, what are you doing in the house? I don't have accommodation. I am squatting. Mm -hmm. It seems you have something with Izu. But uh, I, I, whether you have something with him or you don't have something with him, I don't care. But I am begging you. I am begging you with whatever. Please. You don't know me. I don't know you. I have not seen you before. You two, you have not seen me before. 
That is the only way we are going to survive this house. Do you understand me? As if you want you to take me first. Forget about what I told you. Hmm? Just forget about it. Thank God I didn't. I, I, I did not test you. Just forget anything I told you. Just forget it. I don't know you. You don't know me. So I am going to request for each of you to stand up and wow. then go to every other person and tell the person a sweet, I forgive you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got to this. I got this, I love you. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Come on. How come the guys are going to bless to me? to officially tell us that Vanessa and I would be getting married. <laughs> and I have engaged already. What? <laughs> <laughs> what people get married? Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you know what? Well, it's not as safe we two want to be I have corrected my thinking. Yeah. 
Papa and I are best of friends. <laughs> we understand ourselves so much. Wow. So, Papa is mine. <laughs> 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 Ben, well, it is a lot to you. After everyone must have made his or her choice, uh, everything is done, and what is left is your choice. It is nothing but destiny. So at this point, I'm dying for you. Uchi. I love you so much and I have always loved you. Oh, oh my god. Please marry me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Is it? Ben needs to take his kids away from that woman. Me too. I need to take Linda away. So what do we do? What else do we do? Uche, here is our house. We have to bring them home. That they will be happy and they will not reject us. That's true. So, hmm. we have to start the plans. Yeah. Life is beyond human knowledge You can go beyond what you don't know Oh yeah Our Life is no what you think you can easily get out of Oh, trouble comes and goes, yeah Oh yeah Oh no, the revelation, yeah Oh yeah, the revelation Yeah Oh yeah, the revelation It's like a dream, it's like a movie You can find what you don't know Some powers are unforeseen Yeah Sometimes things turn out the way you don't expect them to be no one knows tomorrow, and no one can tell the future. Well, um, you all have your paychecks in your hands. 
and uh, obviously the amount on the checks are different from the usual amount you collect. All I have just done is to express my appreciation for the hard work and the diligence you have shown at this work in the past few weeks, which has resulted in good financial output for the company. I am so glad that there is no other room showing than this. And I want to assure you also that uh, as we work like this, the increases will come, as the motivation of our will come here, so that we can all be happy and enjoy the fruits of our day. Meanwhile, today, we are all eating out. Wow. On the company's meals. Thank you, sir. 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 <laughs> Baby, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> What is it? Stop it. It's you have to stop. You have your chair. You have your chair. No. I was going to. I'm sure she's going to. You gave it to me. <laughs> The mystery of life is beyond human knowledge You can go beyond what you don't know Oh yeah Our Life is no what you think you can easily get out of Oh, trouble comes and goes, yeah Oh yeah It's like a dream, it's like a movie You can't fight 